All right, fourth grader, second part of this project is creating the portrait for your pieces that you've made. So we're going to use our paper tall. This is called portrait. If you ever have typed or printed something on the computer, you have a choice for your paper to be portrait or long like a landscape. So tall portrait way. I'm going to make the biggest, largest circular oval that I can. I am using my pencil and I am drawing in the middle of my paper as large as I can. And at the bottom, I am going to fit a neck. So the neck is just going to be two lines coming out, kind of like a tree trunk. They are going to have some type of a collar. So it could be a rounded line, it could be a pointed line, it could be straight. And then to make it look like it's not floating, I am just going to extend those lines right off the sides of my paper. Kind of like your school pictures that you have taken. You just see that part of you. So if I'm looking at this big oval, it is the size of my hand or larger. Now I need some hair. If you want to make girl hair, I would suggest starting at the top of the oval and making lines that come and curve down to the shoulders. They could come up and around, or they could be really close to the head. Totally up to you. Boy hair, you could have a lot of variations of this. Boy hair might just end right here. And it does not have to look real. This is abstract, so if it looks funny, awesome. If you want to have one side even longer, like one side long, one side short, that works too. I kind of like how this angled line is coming down. I'm going to extend it here. So there's my hair. It's like short and long on one side. My finished example, you'll see that the hair almost touches the shoulders. If you want to continue it all the way down, you can do that as well. So now I am ready to glue on these pieces. And we don't want this to look great. So if things are coming off the side of the paper, that's great. You can overlap them and you can have fun with playing around. Do you want the eye looking out? Or do you want the eye looking in? And I kind of like how that one is up really high. So yep, it does go over my hair, it goes over my face, it goes on the outside. I did leave some space at the bottom so I can draw lips. So, next step is to glue this. So, I have these pieces overlapping. I am going to glue the one at the bottom first. So the yellow one is the one that touches my purple paper last. Some glue on the back of that. I really liked how these eyes were not at the same part on the paper. They're not across from each other. One is up, one is down and then the nose is going to sit on top. Before I start on the oil crayons, I'm going to draw some lips. And I'm going to make my lips from the side view. So I'm going to make what looks like a backwards three. And I'm going to connect it with a long skinny V. And I suppose if I turn this on the side, it looks like a heart. <laughs> so at this point, I am ready to start coloring with oil crayon. And I am looking for different shapes that I see. So what I mean by that is these papers created a shape right here. I would color that a color. My lips are a different shape. So I would color those. And if you plan this just right, your lips will help you get some different shapes on this side of the face and on this side of the face. So when I look at my finished example, I left one space empty. I did not color that. You can leave it the background paper if you'd like or you can color that in. But I have all these different shapes that I've colored different colors. The last thing you want to do after you've colored is outline with the black. Do not do that first or that black will smear everywhere. As you are coloring, have fun with the colors. Blend them together. I've got some blue and some white. I have green and yellow. I showed you the pink and the red. In the hair, I had a lot of fun adding value. Getting some dark blue and then adding some white to get it lighter. The neck has some pink and some red. So all over, you could be creating different values.